guys, this is Steven from CyberPower PC here to give you guys the rundown on the Arcus 34, CyberPower's newest take on an all-in-one gaming PC. Uh, the Arcus is the most recent iteration of long-standing design, the monitor tower hybrid, but what makes this guy so special is its design, the Arcus's innate customability, and the Samsung monitor. When you look inside the system, you see the traditional components of any other PC. You got your PSU, GPU, motherboard, etc. What makes this interesting is that almost no other monitor-based computer would allow you to open it up like this, let alone change out the parts like the Arcus does. The screen on the Arcus 34 is a 34-inch curved Ultra WQHD with 3440 by 1440 resolution, currently one of the best Samsung monitors that money can buy. 34 inches is a ton of screen and allows the user to multitask almost as if they had bought two side-by-side -side monitors. Additionally, the curve of it makes for a wider field of view and creates a more uniform viewing distance than traditional flat monitors. An Arcus 34 has a 450 watt power supply, 2x5 watt speaker, 1.3 megapixel camera, two 2.0 USBs along with a multi-card reader, and obviously a Samsung monitor. Anything else, however, is fluid. GPUs up to 10.5 inches fit the Arc as well, the most obvious being the GTX 1080 seen here. Additionally, the Arcus has room for two drives on this side of the system that can both be either HDD or SSD. CPUs offered on the CyberPower PC website for the Arcus include Intel Skylake and Bravoli processors. The build can also come with CPU liquid cooling, adding that little bit of extra quiet. I'd like to note as well that the rig can only be set up via stand and should not be wall mounted due to the fan control on the back. Advantages in cable management, save space, and the sleek look offset that little cinch by a lot though. That's it part wise, but we'll leave you guys with the spec sheet for the individual Argus below just in case you'd like to go over it again. On the CyberPower PC website there are four different preset builds. From low is the highest it goes Core, Elite, Pro, and Extreme. But all of these guys are fully customizable so long as the build so long as the build can still function, therefore price, aside from the monitor, it's almost completely left up to you. If you guys would like to play around with these builds, we've put links for them in the description below. The Arcus 34 is set to release on June 27th, 2016. That's it for the Arcus 34 update. Did you like this segment? Hate it? Please let us know what you think in the comments. Again, my name is Steven. Thank you guys so much for watching.